Hi ladies! In a conversation I was having with Faith this week, she mentioned that she didn't see how we could use the Old Testament to learn all the same life lessons and godly living examples that we get in the New Testament. And so she was wanting our time together to be spent in the New Testament. But I was so excited to show her that there are so many examples in the Old Testament that are so useful to life too, that God uses the entire Bible to help us and to lead us and to guide us and to show us exactly um, how we should live and um, what He expects of us. So I was able to tell her one of my favorite stories, which is in Exodus 17, and she, it really opened her eyes up into how the Old Testament can be used. And so I wanted to share the same thing with you all this week in hopes that maybe someone out there needed to hear a little bit about um, this story in the Old Testament about Moses, or maybe you just need a reminder to go further back in your Bible and do a little reading back there because God has some valuable things to tell us back in the Old Testament too. So in Exodus 17, Moses is leading the Israelites out of Egypt still. They're wandering in the wilderness and then um, they're going into battle with the Amalekites. Well, Joshua is the one that actually goes with the warriors into battle while Moses goes up on a hill. And so you hear Moses tell them that as long as he's got the staff in his hand and his hands raised up, the Israelites will be winning the battle. But as soon as he lowers his hands or he doesn't have the staff in his hands, then the Amalekites will win. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I would get exhausted pretty quickly, even without a staff in my hands. That's a long time to just hold up your hands as the hours are ticking by and the battle is going on. Well, obviously Moses starts getting weary and he drops his hands and you see the Amalekites start to win the battle. Well, thank God he had two people up on that hill with him, his brother Aaron and his friend Herb. Well, they came up with an idea and they went and got a really big stone and they put it down for him so he could sit on it. And then when he sat, they each took one side and they each took one arm and they held up his arms for him. And this goes on all day until sunset is what the Bible says. And the Israelites finally win the whole battle and it's all over with. And thankfully he was able to have his hands in the air all day because he had two loyal friends that were willing to stick by his side all day long and hold his hands up for him. So as I was sharing the story with Faith, her eyes were really opened up to how this can be used in everyday life now, especially for her, she's in middle school, but really for any of us, especially as women, um, how important it is to have people by your side they're going to stick there no matter how long it takes and when times get hard and tough and you're exhausted and you're ready just to put your hands down and you don't even care if you can win the battle because you're just weary and tired. It's so important to have those two friends by your side holding your hands up for you. They love you enough to stick it out and hold your hands up for you. So I was able to ask her, you know, who are you investing in? Who are you spending your time with? And are they the kind of people that are still going to be standing by your side in the middle of a battle and still willing to hold your hands up for you when you need the help? And equally as important, like I asked her, I'm going to ask y'all, are you the kind of friend that's willing to stand by a loved one's side? Someone that's your friend or family, and maybe they're going through a tough time, a battle in their life, and they're weary and tired. And are you that good friend that's willing to stand by their side and hold their arms up when they're weary and tired? Go examine those people that are standing by your side today when there is no battle and ask yourself, are they the kind of people that are still going to be standing there in the middle of a battle when you're needing? your hands raised and you're too weary to do it yourself and you're beat down and tired and exhausted but you know that those hands need to be raised or else the battle can't be won but you've got friends by your side that's going to hold your arms up for you because those are the kind of people that you want to be investing in and likewise um, examine your life and ask yourself are you that kind of friend and no matter how tired you get no matter how tired they get you don't leave their side and you're going to keep their hands raised for them because you want them to see the battle won I encourage y'all to go check out Exodus 17 for yourself and read the whole story it's just a great reminder of who you want standing by your side and how they can be helpful to you no matter what y'all have a great week know that we love you and we're praying for you appreciate y'all love you bye